الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد. Today I want to talk to you about an issue which is affecting our Muslim brothers and sisters, and that issue is the consumption of alcohol and the use of drugs. These things are becoming more and more common as more and more we step away or we are going further away from the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the excuse that we use for it is either depression or no one understands us or I have no one to talk to or I just feel like feeling good or it's just for fun to see where we, where we end up. I just want to remind our Muslim brothers and sisters today that there's a hadith in Sahih Muslim that An Ibn Umar radiallahu anhu qal qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam kullu muskirin khamrun wa kullu muskirin haramun wa man sharib al khamra fi dunya fa mata wa huwa yudminuha lam yatub lam yashrabha fi al akhirah Ibn Umar radiallahu anhu narrates that the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said Every intoxicant is khamr and every intoxicant is for forbidden, it is haram. He who drinks wine in this world and dies while he is addicted to it, not having repented, will not be given a drink in the hereafter. Allahu Akbar. For our temporary pleasures of this world, we end up losing the everlasting pleasures of the hereafter. Instead of working on it, instead of focusing on ourselves, instead of doing something productive, number one, we are wasting our time. Number two, we are wasting our energy, our resources, our wealth, and our relationships for the sake of feeling good. And that is mainly because one has not tasted the sweetness of the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He has not tasted the sweetness of the recitation of the Holy Quran. Anyone who has not tasted the sweetness, the pleasure, which is in the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, how can he understand what he is missing out? It is like putting it simply so we can understand is someone who has never smoked and you give him a cigarette to smoke, doesn't find pleasure in it. He coughs and some people even vomit. Alcohol, you give it to someone who has never drank alcohol before, you give it to them and they don't feel good about it because they don't feel like this, this is fun, it tastes disgusting, it smells disgusting. A person who smokes, he, his hands, his mouth, his breath, everything changes. But to him who has done it so many times and now he feels the satisfaction, he feels the content, he feels the pleasure of intoxicating himself, even though he will smell bad, even though he is ruining the environment around him, he doesn't care because of the pleasure that he is gaining. Similarly, when a person starts to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he doesn't feel good because he's not used to sitting down and thinking about the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and saying la ilaha illallah or reciting the Quran or subhanallah, alhamdulillah wa la ilaha illallah wa allahu akbar wa la hawla wa la quwwata illa billahi al-aliyya al-azim astaghfirullah rabbi min kulli dhambi he, he doesn't understand the sweetness of all of this but in time he keeps doing it, he keeps doing it, he pushes himself and slowly, 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 he will start to feel the pleasure and the greatness, the sweetness of the remembrance of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is why, my friends, we should focus more and more in remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and avoid the company of those people who are involved in doing drugs or, in, or drinking. Sometimes we think that we want to have a relationship with these people because we think we can fix them. How can someone who he himself is not fixed, fix other people? So the first point of action is to fix ourselves. Once we are mutasaddid, we are strong, we are firm in our beliefs, we are firm that even though anything can happen, I will not 
move away from my understanding. I will not move away from what I believe is to be true. I will not move away from what I believe is to be correct. I will not move away from what gives me pleasure. Only then this person has the capability and the capacity to help other people without uh, being involved himself. And we have so many examples from the life of the Sahaba Ikram radiallahu anhum ajma'in. And we find that there were so many times that they preferred pain, they preferred hardship, and they preferred uh, sacrifice. And in that hardship, in that sacrifice, they tasted or they smelt the sweetness or the greatness of the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in it and the pleasure of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in it and that to them was way better than any pleasure of this world. So my dear respected brothers and sisters, I urge you to stay away from intoxications. It does you no good. Mentally it do does you no good. Socially it does you no good. Physically it does you no good. And the effects of them are really dangerous to yourself, to the people around you, to the people who love you. I cannot emphasize on how important this is. If you know a Muslim brother or a sister who is involved in this, number one, help them to the best of your capabilities. And if you are incapable of helping them, refer them to someone who is capable of helping them. And in the meantime, help yourself. This is important for our children growing up in the Western countries. Even now in Muslim countries, it is becoming more and more common. In universities, at schools, children are buying and selling drugs. It is haram to spend money on these things. Would you not prefer your own hard-earned wealth to be spent on sadaqah? to be spent on your family, to be spent on the poor, to be spent on the needy? Why waste resources on things which do not benefit us? And if you want to escape your current issues, your current problems, then escape from them and turn towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and believe me, you will find pleasure.